This is NHTV2, North Haven Government Television, a service of North Haven Community Television. The following program is brought to you through the support of the town of North Haven. Good evening. Welcome to the North Haven Board of Police Commissioner meeting for the month of May. Can I have a motion to uh, accept the minutes of the April uh, regular meeting and an executive session? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Larry, there's no correspondence, huh? We have the monthly reports next. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can I have approval of the monthly reports for April 2018? So, so moved. Second. Any uh, comments? Being none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. And again, Larry, do we have any correspondence? <laughs> no, uh, no, unfortunately, we have no correspondences this month. Okay, under the chairman's report, uh, I've been talking uh, with the chief, but I'll defer to him and his report so that we don't hit the same things over again. So at this time, uh, chief, you want to go ahead okay. with your report? Uh, our uh, continuing PSA for uh, all of our town residents and uh, to please continue to lock their uh, vehicles at night. Uh, we do have some entries that are still being made, and again, that's uh, that goes beyond the borders of North Haven. That is a not only a region issue; that is a statewide issue. Um, stolen vehicles that are often being uh, recovered in the, the, the larger cities of uh, Bridgeport, New Haven, Waterbury. So, uh, you know, the best thing for everyone to do is just to lock it take your keys out, take the key fobs out of the consoles, et cetera. As far as our budget, our budget uh, continues to stay within our uh, expectations. Um, we have uh, positioned ourselves very well, and I'm confident that with uh, only a month and a half left that we will uh, stay within our budget limits. Uh, we did have some extraordinary overtime extents, uh, expenses this past month. I can uh, fill you in a little bit. Uh, later as to why, uh, but even with those, uh, I'm, I'm comfortable with our numbers. <clears throat> the support services and traffic, uh, you'll remember that last week, we sp or last month, we spoke of uh, Pool Road and Blakesley Avenue, and, and you had voted to, uh, to stripe that road, and the Town Highway Department has been notified they will do Pool Road for now and uh, Blakesley Avenue is scheduled to be milled and paved. So just f for dollars and cents reasons, they'll wait until the Blakesley Avenue side is actually milled and paved before they stripe that. Uh, as for the Middletown Avenue, uh, the Department of Transportation, the state DOT has uh, concurred with the Board of Police Commission to remove that passing lane in the area of uh, North Hill Road and, and Livingston Drive. Uh, you may also see in, in the very near future that the uh, on Washington Avenue between Route 22 and the I-91 overpass, the state is uh, looking to uh, put more of those uh, turn arrows in, in the, in the uh, center of the road. Uh, they refer to it as a, a two-way left turn. So it sometimes will look awkward because you'll have a arrow that says left turn this way and you'll actually see one coming in the opposite direction it's, uh, it's having somebody turn into uh, a driveway in the opposite side of the road uh, probably the best description is uh, route one out in orange they they have it uh, quite a bit so i think what they're looking to do is remove those <coughs> those painted islands that are in the roadway on, on washington avenue and just incorporate more of uh, uh, the turn arrows chief on middletown avenue to, is there signage that needs to come down? Is there striping that needs to be redone? Right. And, and who does that? Right. The, the state, state responsible that's, for that's, that? Uh, that's the state, and they'll, they'll take care of that during their their uh, their annual maintenance. Uh, they're, they're when they restripe the road, they will they'll change the striping. They'll take down any signs. Matter of fact, I, I in the same email they uh, made a comment about 
the lower end of Middletown Avenue closer to Quinnipiac Avenue, there was uh, another zone over there that they are going to alter themselves because they say it doesn't meet the, uh, the municipal uh, code or, or the, the book that they follow. Mm -hmm. uh, what do they call that, John? Uh, that Mutka, the uh, uniform traffic devices and something standards. It, yeah, that's ba yeah. basically what it is. But it doesn't it doesn't uh, yeah. match up. So they're going to take that out as well. Mm -hmm. Our uh, uniform uh, services and uh, being patrol and, and our ISU being the detectives. Uh, our robberies and burglaries uh, continue to be down, but they were both busy this month. Uh, with a couple of incidents, uh, most everyone uh, knows about the incident at 385 Quinnipiac Avenue. That is the incident that began initially as a family violence matter. Uh, it escalated to a point where we deployed our regional uh, SWAT team to uh, effectuate an arrest. Um, we had information to believe that the offender was in fact um, at the house, uh, but because of the, uh, the layout of the home, outbuildings, number of uh, vehicles, uh, storage facilities there. Uh, it wasn't quite, we weren't quite sure where he was. Um, as, as they began to uh, search the premises, uh, there was an explosion that most everybody knows about. By at this point, we had uh, nine operators, nine uh, SWAT operators. Those are the, the police officers assigned to the, uh, the team that were injured. Uh, three of them are ours and uh, three belong to Actually, there were nine. Yeah, three of them are are, uh, are ours, and the others were uh, the other team, the other towns. Our three guys back are they back on the job? Yeah, I'll, I'll discuss that. Not. I'll discuss that during the uh, the executive session okay. under the personnel matters. Um, so uh, that was they weren't life threatening injuries to any of them. So that's the important thing. Um, that's the investigation is uh, turned over to Connecticut State Police. Um, and they're going to uh, report back to us. It will, may take several months. I expect it'll be several several months, maybe even a year, before we actually get a uh, a final report from them on on the uh, on the cause of all that. Uh, but at the same time, I want to thank our our community uh, for the uh, the support that they showed our department. Uh, you know, well wishes and cards. That, that came in, uh, food items that were that were uh, sent to the PD. Uh, it was it was it was really uh, it was really nice to to see everybody kind of rally behind us. And uh, and on behalf of all the officers, uh, I just want to publicly thank uh, everybody in town for what they did. Chief, there's a donation platform that's set up, isn't there? There is a fundraiser. It's Thursday, which is part of the. Uh, the uh, fundraiser uh, that'll be for the officers that are going to be on extended leave there's a uh, number of officers i believe that will be out for several months uh, and the fundraiser on thursday is out at uh, stony brook uh, the brewery in branford and uh, anybody who wants to to go is you know you're, you're more than more than welcome to uh, try to get a ticket at the door Right, yeah, that's next Thursday at what? Two, Actually, three, it's three tonight, uh, day after tomorrow. Okay. Uh, we also had another incident uh, this past month. Uh, and, uh, we had a uh, death of a woman after she was hit uh, by a vehicle <coughs> that was being operated by a family member in her driveway. Uh, and uh, we also had the, uh, the horrific storm that some of some of the commissioners were talking about before. The meeting started. Uh, those those are three things that kind of uh, took a little extra uh, overtime expense, but you know those those are things that we have to do. Uh, quite quite frankly, uh, roads were uh, closed. Um, most uh, all of them are open right now. But when I talked to the fire chief, he's our emergency uh, management uh, director. Uh, and as of uh, this afternoon, everything was open. Some of the roads are actually uh, restricted still, so we, we caution everybody to uh, to use common sense. Uh, but at the same time, we want to tell everybody that if you, if there's wires that are still down, not to touch them. 
and that goes for you, even future storms. You don't want to be, you know, it's always, it's always good to go out and see the, all the damage afterwards. Uh, it's just human nature. We want to see, we want to see what the, what the storm did, uh, but we have to be very, very uh, careful of, of uh, not endangering ourselves or, or putting other first responders, uh, you know, in jeopardy of going to, to uh, rescue you. <clears throat> we have uh, Officer Flanagan under professional standards and training. Officer Flanagan is uh, June 12. That's his post graduation date. How many uh, <clears throat> weeks is he going to be in the car with another officer? I don't remember. Ten. That. Ten weeks? Ten weeks. Okay. They have to do a minimum of 400 hours of field training. Yeah. Um, and in the past, we've had the luxury of, of being able to sometimes give them uh, 12 weeks mm -hmm. just to, you know, give them a, an extra little, uh, you know, cushion. Um, things being what they might be in the next couple months, uh, he's going to have to uh, learn fast, and his 10 weeks is going to be 10 weeks, basically. Um, he's Our other but, dog, Mac. Yeah. Uh, the one we just got, mm -hmm. can't think of his name, the officer name that's got the other dog. Officer Artez. Pardon me? Officer Artez. Yes. Artez, uh, Artez. What does he work, a night? He I works evening see... shift. I'm sorry? Evening shift. Evening shift, yep. okay, because I don't see him around with the, the, the dog. Uh, speaking of uh, posting and the graduation, uh, academy seats are at a premium uh, in case we are uh, looking down the road for any type of um, Hiring in the next couple of months or uh, six months out, uh, so we. You've got we, one seat though in July, right? No, it's, well, we're uh, we're on a waiting list for for July, so that's just something to keep in the back of our mind. We have uh, nearly all the officers whose recertification was coming due with June thirtieth. Uh, roughly, we we try to do one third. It's a three-year cycle. You have to have sixty hours. Of training every three years and we, we try to do it in uh, thirds we split the department in thirds so this the group that's going through right now their the recertification that's due in June 30th uh, there's just two that need to go they'll go in the next uh, week or two so uh, we're in good shape there as far as the Walter T. Benary scholarship I have uh, no request this month <coughs> For other business, as far as the parade, the parade is this Saturday, May 26th. The parade starts at 1030 at 55 Bailey Road. That's the middle school. If any of the commissioners want to uh, march, if you could be at the annex uh, parking lot here at 930. You're talking and, behind the pool? Not behind the pool, but behind the annex. Oh. Uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna try to find you parking if you if if if, if you're marching. Uh, unfortunately, uh, parking in the center of town is going to be an issue for everyone, um, and the annex itself uh, it's going to be tight. Will that gate be open? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna close it off. How do we get in there then? Well, if you if you're marching, you know if you're marching, then I'll I'll, I'll make it a point to find you someplace to. If I got to put you on the grass, I'll put you on the grass. Um, but if, if you're just coming down to watch the parade, um, you're pretty much going to be on your own. And unfortunately, well, I mean, we have to. We're going to march. We're parked behind the annex. Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, I'm going to try to get you there. I'll get you either on the grass or I'll, I'll find you a spot. Okay. okay. Well, how do we know that time that you'll find us? How do we get in touch with you? No, I'll, uh, no. You, if, if you show up and you say you're marching, then I'll, I'll make sure that we find you a spot to park. Okay. All right. I'll get you on the grass or I'll get you somewhere. Get to the annex. Is that the Lindsley Street? Yeah, right across the street from. So you just uh, go down Lindsley Street to yeah. the left there. Well, there's yeah. a gate, the thing that goes up and down. Oh, that gate itself through. is up, but I'm going to put well, a barricade. No, no, yeah. I'm going to put a barricade that's across so we don't have yeah. Yeah. Uh, John Smith or Mary Jane or whoever else uh, just yeah. showing up and parking there because it's it's police headquarters for the most part at this point, okay. and we're going to have our officers that are working the traffic details as well as marching, so. It's going to be tight. Okay. Uh, we're going to be double parked ourselves. Okay. Good. Um, so, like I said, if if I can get somebody like yourself that has a jeep, I'll put you on the grass. Yeah. Um, somebody might have a nicer car. You know, I'll find something on the pavement for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, but at nine thirty, go there. 
Nine, 9.30, so we can shuttle we'll everybody. Before, yeah. right. what, what time's kickoff? At 10.30 or 11? 10.30 is the uh, step off of the parade. So we should be there by 10 o'clock. I'm saying 9.30, just so... 9.30? Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna Are you gonna march, Joe? I think so. Oh, okay. Yeah, you march alongside me. Yes, I so will. My leg kicks out, you can carry me. All right? I'm marching <laughs> on the other side. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah okay. we'll have somebody else on the other side. Uh, Peggy may have given you a list of uh, next year's uh, minutes, or uh, actually the uh, meeting the, schedule. I'm sorry. Yep, the dates yeah. for the uh, <laughs> meeting of our regular monthly that needs to be approved, and we have to submit that to the uh, to the town clerk. I don't know if uh, I have a motion to accept those dates. So moved. moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Uh, this past month, we also participated with the DEA drug uh, take back. It was over at the, uh, the firehouse. It was very successful again. Uh, we do that twice a year, usually once in April and once in October. Uh, but for anybody in town that may have missed it, uh, we do have a green box that's located in the lobby of the police station, the police department. Um, you know, and again, just temporarily, we're across the street in the annex basement. The box is still there. You can come in. You can drop off any type of drug. No questions asked. Just drop it and walk away, and, and we're good. Uh, we also had uh, participated with the, uh, the Tritown Mad event. That's just a, that's a, an awareness and fundraiser event by the uh, Mothers Against Drunk Driving. That was uh, hosted by the town of Hamden. And several of our officers uh, also attended the ceremonies down at the National Police Week in Washington, D.C. last week. Um, and that's, uh, that's always a good event. The other things I have here for uh, tonight would be for uh, personnel matters uh, to be discussed under the executive session. I have one thing I just wanted to ask you. Did you uh, get our photo machine back is it is yes, operating we're, we just talked about that this before and the uh, we we did get it back uh, there was a piece that was missing we then this is what happens uh, when you share things with other departments uh, nobody nobody does it on purpose but you know things just get misplaced um, but we we got all the parts and uh, we're we should be up and running so I know everybody has uh, expired town IDs or yeah. uh, you know commission IDs we have police IDs that need to be made up uh, Leosa cards that need to be made up so yeah we'll, we'll take when care you of that. get that would you let us know so I can let the other commissioners know right. we can well, all come in at the same time yeah basically so I, you have to drag it out every you don't yet no nobody's actually changed any um, so we could take your picture from last year and we just Bring it Change in. Change the date. That's all. Oh, fine. Then you know, go ahead with that. Then yeah. when you get the machine operating. Yeah. All right. Does anybody have any questions for the chief or the deputy at this time before we move into executive session? No. Okay. Being none, can I have a motion that we move into executive session for the discussion of personnel matters? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. We are back into open session. Uh, Larry, you want to make a motion? Yes, I'd to like to make a motion that we offer Rich De Palma a conditional offer of employment uh, conditioned upon a vacancy occurring within the next 30 days. I'll second that. Although any other discussion being none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Can I have a motion that we adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. The preceding program is brought to you in part through a grant from the Town of North Haven. Watch town meetings or other videos on demand at nhtv.com.